Hi, welcome to Nokia Chennai. I am Madhvi Ravnan. I head the customer engineering unit in Nokia's core networks global services organization. Today, I want to show you how Nokia's location services solution enables a very important use case in public safety. In any emergency, be it a medical emergency, a physical safety threat, or a natural disaster, every moment counts. The seconds between the time we call an emergency number and the time we get connected to the appropriate public safety dispatcher are absolutely crucial. In such calls, call transfers between public safety answering points can delay access to first responders. At Nokia, we have improved this via location-based routing for emergency calls in our location services solution. Let's understand this a bit more. Today, most emergency calls are routed based on the location of the cell tower that handles the call. Each cell has a public safety answering point, a PSAP, mapped to it. And all emergency calls received at the cell are routed to this particular PSAP. This works all okay, so long as the cell's coverage area spans a single PSAP jurisdiction only. Now, imagine cells at state or county or city borders. The coverage area of such a cell can naturally span multiple PSAP boundaries. And one of those PSAPs will be mapped to the cell for handling the emergency calls received at the cell. Imagine a caller calling from within such a cell's coverage area, but from the jurisdiction of a PSAP that's not the one mapped to the cell. Such a call would still get routed to the PSAP map to the cell. An agent at this PSAP would talk to the caller, understand that the person is in the jurisdiction of a different PSAP, and then transfer the call to that particular PSAP. Such call transfers in the way most emergency calls are routed today can delay access to first responders. Alternatively, with location-based routing, Emergency calls are routed based on the location information of the caller and not the location of the cell tower. This means the network can read the caller's location and route the call to the PSAP that serves that particular location directly, avoiding call transfers and hence accelerating access to first responders. So how is location-based routing achieved in the core network? When a UE makes an emergency call, a SIP invite message is sent to the ECSEF, which in turn forwards it to the location retrieval function or the LRF. The LRF reads the UE's current location and fetches the serving PSAP for that location from the routing determination function and returns the universal resource identifier URI of the serving PSAP to the ECSEF. ECSEF then connects the call to that PSAP. Now, let's see a demo. Here is a plot of two sample PSAP jurisdictions on the map, one shaded in gray and the other in cyan. Let's mentally visualize a cell spanning the two PSAP boundaries at the border. The gray shaded PSAP is mapped to the cell. A caller is at the pinned location on the map within the cell's coverage area and is making an emergency call. Let's see what happens when there is no location-based routing or LBR in the network. You can see that the Pani header in the SIP invite message from the UE to the LRF has the cell ID in it. Let's check the LRF's response now. We can see the SIP response message 300 here. The contact header has the target URI of the PSAP to which the call needs to be routed to. Now, we'll plot the jurisdiction of this PSAP on the map in dark blue. Here it is. It is the PSAP that is mapped to the cell, which means the call in this case will have to be transferred from this PSAP to the PSAP below to assist the caller. Next, let's see what happens when LBR is enabled in the network. We are triggering an emergency call from the same user location. You can see that the UE's location coordinates are passed in the body of the SIP invite message to the LRF. Point to note is the LRF can fetch the location information from a variety of sources. And in our demo, for simplicity, we have used UE reported location information. 
let's check the lrf's response we can see that the sip response message has the target uri of the psap to which the call needs to be routed to now we plot the jurisdiction of this psap in dark blue here it is and it's exactly the psap that serves the location the user is in that's how lbr can reduce psap to psap call transfers for emergency calls and accelerate access to first responders So as we just saw with location based routing for emergency calls public safety authorities can respond swiftly and more efficiently than ever before in fact one of our customers has been able to achieve up to 40% reduction in call transfers in some of the LBR enabled areas thanks for your attention